Hi guys, this video will be on second coin of Bahamut turn 7. Turn 7 will feature a boss battle against Malusine and will require plenty of team coordination among your party. Fret not, this video will cover the strategy you will need to win the battle against Malusine and gain your loot. My name is Light and I will be guiding you through. First off, allow me to touch on the positioning of the battle. From what we can see here, A is where you will tank Maloon Sign, B is where you will tank Ads, and C is where the Bard will kite the Renauts. Before we start the battle, I have a tip that I'd like to share with the healer. By going to the character settings, target, you can uncheck the automatically face target when using action. This will help you plenty full during the battle against Maloon Sign. Begin phase 1 by pulling Maloon Sign to where A is and tank it facing outwards. The first ability you'll notice is Curse Voice. Maloon Sign will place a debuff on one tank, one healer and one DPS. As the debuff begins the countdown, turn and face the character away from the rest of the party. Your character will then release the frontal cone beam in front of where he faces. Being in the beam will petrify any player, Renault, and also give a damage buff to Maloon Sign or her ads. Players of Renault will die in one single hit by any attack. Moving on, we have the Circle Blade attack by Maloon Sign. Just simply move out of the AoE attack and you'll be fine. An important mechanism to the fight, Renault will spawn with a slow debuff on it and targets the first player who treads it. It will one hit KO the player when he reaches the target. This Renault will be spawned at interval during the whole battle. You have to kite the Renault with a Bard or Summoner ASAP when it spawns. He will then bring the Renault around the outer ring until a healer releases his cursed voice on it to petrify the Renault. The Summoner can use Miasma or the Bard can use Riding Arrow to stop the Renault in his track but be very careful since it removes the slow debuff from the Renault. You can then proceed to hit the Renault to kill it but make sure to keep one alive from phase 2 onwards. Phase 2 will begin at 80% HP, the first set of adds will then begin to spawn. The spawn location can be seen on this map here and the off tank will need to bring them and tank kit at B. You will then have 30 seconds before the next death dancer spawns. I will include the progress numbers of the death dancer spawn at the bottom right of the video so you can gauge when they will spawn. For the second attack of phase 2, we have Curse Streak, which puts one player with a debuff. The player will then be required to move and hide behind the Petrified Renault and use it as a shield to protect the rest of the party from the petrification. This is the reason why I place the boss or adds to be tanked in the middle since this will allow minimal movement of the rest of the party. Coming up right after the streak is usually a fireball which targets both the long range DPS. Ensure they are away from one another after the streak to prevent stacking of damage. Phase 3 begins at around 60% HP, spawning a Lamia Fit Dealers at 4 corners. 
They have no threat table and targets random player. They also does not move and stay static at where they spawn. Focus target on a single fit dealers at one time to destroy them as quick as possible. Through the battle, the fate dealers will put a green arrow above a player. Healers will need to take note and pop as much heals on him as possible, as it indicates a combined aim shot on the player. Also, you should have already noticed, one section of the arena will light up from time to time. Players will need to move away from the lighted up ring as it will explode after around 15 seconds and instant kill any players inside. Once you get that down, just repeat everything you've done until around 35% HP, which will then begin the transition to final phase. Final phase begins at around 35% HP with the spawn of Lamia Protector. He will be spawned at the south of the map where the first Death Dancer spawns. The off tank should pick it up and tank it right next to the main tank. Watch out for the cast bar of the Protector, for when it casts Petrifaction, each and every player will need to look away from the Protector to prevent Petrifaction. The melee DPS should limit break the Protector whenever situation allows making sure that there's no cursed voice interrupting his cast. Right after the projector dies, Moonshine will pick up the skill Petrifaction and will begin to use it as part of her attacks. Finally, we also have Venomous Tail which puts a poison debuff on one single player. Healers, please take note to Izuna or leech it off the targeted player as soon as possible. And with that, just stay focused till the battle ends and congratulations on your win against Maloon Sign. I wish you all the best with your loot and with that I shall end my video guide on turn 7. Please like, favorite and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy XIV contents in the future. And also Melon's been blogging about her adventure in Erosia on her blog spot and let's play video. So please check them out on our channel and best of luck I hope to see you again.